Hello all, Shoestring here. It's been about a year since I've purchased this and did the first review on my Fly Power lithium battery. And it's time to check it again and update and make sure it still has all the functionality and has the same discharge capability as when we first got it. So how I'm going to do this is I have my kilowatt connected to this 200 watt inverter connected to a strip right there, which has two fans. Both fans will come out to about 100 amp hours. So since this is a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery, that would give it about 1,200 watt hours. So we're going to check this, make sure all of our numbers are correct. We're going to turn it on. As you can hear, the fan, hopefully here, the fans have come on. We're going to do our watts. And the watts say 100. 100 watts. So, this should run about 12 hours if the discharge is correct. And the battery is still good as when we started. It is 8 o'clock this morning. We will come out around 8 o'clock tonight. Of course, I'll check it periodically and make sure it is still good. And we'll see if it still has all the discharge capabilities that it is supposed to have. All right, I'll see you back here in about 12 hours. Folks, we are back. It is now 2 o'clock, which is halfway between the 12 hours we were looking for. We'll look at our our kilowatt and it still says it says 9998 so we're still running at 100 we're going to come over here and look at our voltage and our voltage says 13.0 13.0 so that's where we are take our little chart this is a lithium battery, and you know we can go from fully charged to zero and not harm the battery. So we are at 13.0, actually between 13.1 and 13.0, so 40 and 30 percent. That's a little bit less than I would think. I would think we would be somewhere between 13.1 and 13.2, but we will still we will see. Not sure how accurate the um, voltage meter is in the battery itself. Okay, so we are halfway through. We are at 13.0 volts, and we'll let this keep going. We'll check back in either when this dies or in 12 hours. See you then. All right, here we are back out here in the fan. Both of them have stopped, and it's a little early than we expected. We're going to check the voltage, and it is 11.1. So, obviously, it appears the uh, inverter to protect the battery has shut it off. Because 11.1 is, of course, not drained. And uh, remembering our chart, it still has current left in it. So, I'm going to go ahead and declare this a success, even though... It did go off a few minutes before the actual 12 hours. Sim and go ahead and turn this off. Simply because it is 11.1. It would have went a little longer if the inverter has not had not shut it off. All right, so a year later, and the battery is still running the same voltage and the same efficiency it did when I originally picked it up. And I am still going to recommend this battery for people. If you can afford a lithium and you need one that's inexpensive, that works. Now remember, this doesn't have a low temperature cutoff. Other than that, though, it's extremely well put together. And I like the USBs. And I like how you can see the voltage. And it comes with its own battery charger, which is also interesting and doesn't normally happen. Okay, so that's our year review. If you have any questions, put it down in the comments. 
course, subscribe and like and share. Click the little bell button so you can be notified. And shoestring.